are kind of uh, enlarged images of the microorganisms that live in the soil, right? Of which every handful of soil has as many microorganisms in it as there are people living on the earth. How's that for a statistic? They're crazy. These little creatures, I mean, these are responsible for keeping the whole ecosystem working. And most of us don't really know that they exist. I mean, we've heard of fungi and we've heard of bacteria and things like that. But there are all of these different little species and their stories are like something out of a science fiction movie. And I'm going to tell you my favorite one because it's so crazy. This one right here is called a rotifer, these long ones. That is a female species. They are only female. And um, when, for whatever reason, life's conditions are not good for them, they'll just roll themselves up into a little ball and turn into kind of a cyst and hang out dormant for years at a time. And then when they're ready to regenerate, they will, um, when, generally when water gets near them, they will, um, as they come back, grab a little bit of DNA from whatever is around them, leaf litter, whatever's digesting in their stomachs or whatever, you know, is in there. And that's how they incorporate new DNA and have um, greater um, genetic diversity. But they are all mothers and daughters over and over and over again. How weird is that? I mean, that just doesn't sound real to me. So every one of these has some funny story like that. And, um, it just reminds me of, you know, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards or those Pokemon or, you know, these little funny fantasy creatures. And um, these are several, yeah. And the woman who did this, Sharon Bladholm, is kind of a scientist artist and worked very closely with scientists at the Field Museum to, to make sure that she was um, illustrating um, microorganisms that can be found in the soil right here at the preserve. And... Um, you know, what there is to know about them. I mean, these things are tiny, so, yeah, so, um, so these are...